Hi everyone, this is Ding Dong Dong. Welcome back to my channel. During the Christmas break, I read a book called The Goal. This is the first time I read the paper version of it. And two years ago, I listened to the audio version while exercising in the gym and forget most of it. Things now, my work-related areas, pretty close to manufacturing, including the OEE downtime continuous improvement. So that's why I decided to buy the paper version of it and read it in a more serious manner. Um, this book is seen as the Bible for manufacturing and production management. When we talk about manufacturing and production, uh, professionals always jump really, really fast to uh, techniques, modeling, data, uh, KPI, monitoring and alerting. And for non-manufacturing profession, people are always confused by the techniques, the wording. Um, so what I was amazed by this book, it's, uh, it's pretty easy to read. It's novel, really conversational. Uh, and the story starts by a factory director called Alex. He received a quite challenging task to turn around his low-performing factory within three months. And if he cannot make it, his staff and himself will be laid off and the factory will be closed by the headquarters. And so the story was developed by how he seeked for help, how he created a team, uh, how the team find the problem and tackle the problem. There's also a secondary storyline about Alex's personal relationship problem with his wife. He confronts a risk to divorce during the same time period when he turned around the factory. I do recommend you to read the book, no matter you are a manufacturing profession or not. Uh, even it is a bible for factory and lean management, uh, those who do not know or are not closely related to this area will also benefit from some of the aspects uh, of solving both professional and personal problems. I will tell you my three biggest takeaways during the next several minutes from the goal. Our society is made to consume and produce. We consume by eating, by looking at videos, reading, by entertaining, and by making our life better. We also produce by working, studying, by making videos, and write a book. Our society is also built on structures and organizations. Families, relationships, companies, schools, those are all the type of organization and structure. To make those organization and structure run, they need to have a goal, a meaning. This is maybe a bit too abstract. I'll give you a lot of examples. As an individual, our goal might be to have a promotion, to change a job, to uh, move from one country to another country. As a family, your goal might be to change to a new house, to go traveling next year. And often as a company, the goal usually is to expand to ABC country, to increase X, Y, Z percent of revenue, or to invest on the most innovative technology and have return on investment within three years. I really value one sentence in the book. It's such a common sense, but it's so easy to forget when you or a team is so deep into the day-to-day -day activity. The sentence is, productivity is meaningless unless you know what your goal is. Think about the moment when you ask your manager about the reason of doing this task and you cannot really get a convincing reply. Think about some other moment when you got the full passion of doing this project because you know why you are doing it. This book really reminds me of when we're in the course of actions, always reflect, does this action contribute to the goal of my company? If the answer is yes, then perfect. If the answer is no, then consider, why am I doing this? If the answer is I don't know, then it is up to us to figure out the goal of doing this task and the goal of our company. It is our responsibility to know the goal of our company. The main storyline of the novel is how Alex saved the factory by improving the productivity to ship more orders. There is a secondary storyline that I was really touched 
It's about the value of family, about how work stress can transfer to your family members. It really reminds me of sometimes when I try to be really nice at work and give my best image to the coworkers, customers, managers. But sometimes the negative emotion do exist. The stress and the anxiety still exist. We try to hide it a little bit at work, but when we go back to home in the safe area, we spread it out and uh, the angry at some really tiny small things that actually has nothing to do with that thing itself, but it's just because we are hiding emotion at work so that we spread out from that small things. Also, it reminds me sometimes when we put too much time at work and uh, we are really tired when we go back home and just don't want to communicate to our parents or our partner. Um, but do remember that each relationship needs time to maintain. We need to communicate with them, to tell them what's happened, tell them our feelings and our emotion, to let them know us better. So what I really appreciate about the book is it's tell me how important family is when we meet the downtime. Remember, during your downtime, it's always the family who will give you the best and the strongest support to let you have more motivation, let you have more power to confront those difficult situations. Since it is a Bible for a manufacturing and operation profession, we'll still talk about some techniques around operation after talking about the first takeaway for leadership and second takeaway for families. The goal describes a team that work together to find the bottleneck in the factory, improve the bottleneck, make it become non-bottleneck, and move on to find the next bottleneck using the same train of thoughts, the so-called continuous improvement. To identify the bottleneck, check where place the highest inventory, or the so-called work in process. After figuring out the bottleneck, you need to make sure that the bottleneck runs at the highest capacity. One technique would be to place the quality check in front of the bottleneck so that you make sure no defect product will run through the bottleneck. And last but most important, do not only rely on data to find the problem. Go physically to the shop floor and talk with operators. You will find much more insights that you never figured out before. Hope you find the video helpful and develop an interest of reading the goal. If you already read the book, please leave a comment and I'm really interested at what you learned from the book. Thank you for watching today's video. See you next time. Bye!